you know, you know, you know, wire to wire wins. You know, this leads to so many times big leads disappear, guys letting up. What what are they showing you during these where you guys are not taking the lead and just really helping the draft? That we were coming out with the right focus from the start. Uh, obviously, 31 points in the first half, 16 and 15 in the first two quarters. Uh, we guarded extremely well for the most part of the game uh, till the end there, obviously. But um, coming out with the right, right mindset uh, on both ends of the floor, uh, having good carryover, and showing more consistency. And, um, in the first half, some of the last game, Jason Jalen didn't dominate offensively. Um, we looked up and you're up 15 or 16. Another game like that where you don't necessarily put too much on their shoulders. Is that just kind of encouraging to see the defense can handle it and other guys can step in and score? And, and yeah, I mean, you know, they're going to do what they do. And some nights it's, uh, you know, a few missed shots that they would normally make. But uh, Jason went on a run there, got going in the third quarter. Um, but other guys have to step up, as, as you've seen over the last few games. And when you look across the score sheet and you see a lot of double figures, they're in a good spot, obviously, without them. Uh, getting their averages, basically. And what happened to Al? Felt something in his foot. Uh, got looked out, came back out, was cleared to play, but just kept him out since we had a big lead. Rob is perfect from the field tonight. Uh, before the game, Juice was in here saying that he feels like Rob has all-star potential. It was eyes kind of light up every time he talks about Rob. So I guess, how has the synergy with Rob and the team's playmakers evolved over the year? And how much is he starting to really control games on both ends of the field? Yeah, he's been huge. Uh, his progress throughout the year, week to week, uh, you know, I feel the same way. Uh, ceiling, not even close to reaching the ceiling. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's improved in a lot of areas this year, impacting the game you know, in every kind of way. And uh, to your point, I think everybody sees the value of what he brings to, our, to the game on both sides of the ball. And he's growing with confidence, and uh, we all love to see it. So I feel the exact same way as Jason. He had that stretch earlier in the year with the defense was struggling, especially on that road trip you guys had. It seems like a huge flip has happened with his timing to rotate into the lane and the way that he's communicating with the people coverages. So was there a conversation that you've had or a few conversations you've had that you can see where those things have turned around for him? Yeah, we, we changed some things defensively, um, whether we're having him off ball more, um, not as much on the ball, and so he can be a help help side defender instead of switching as much and keeping them closer to the basket. So that's been beneficial for him. Uh, we were taking them away from the basket early in the year, and that was obviously taking away a rim protector and his comfort zone. He can do both, and he does both at, some, at times, depending on the coverage we're in. But uh, the more we keep him better, near the basket, the better. What did stand out to you defensively? Because you guys held them under 33%. I didn't hear the first part. So. What stood out to you defensively? Our physicality from the start. Uh, other than a few mistakes on switches in the first half, uh, we looked at a halftime. I think they had seven or eight points. We could have kept them in the 20s, honestly, other than a few mistakes there. But our, our attention to detail, non-shooters versus shooters, and then making it tough on Grant and, and Bay and some of those guys early. Um, obviously, they were having you know Grant going three for 12 and Bay six for 17. We did a good job in the first half as well. So I felt, uh, like I said, our carryover is good. Our physicality has been there. And we're kind of buying into that defensive mentality and, and making it hard on teams every night. They cut it to 11 at one point in the third, and you called them out. What did you say, and how did you feel like their response? It was getting too easy. Um, at that point, they had 15 in the quarter in the first five minutes when, when they had 16 or 15 in the entire first and second quarter. So we just you know got too comfortable where it was going easy for us on the offensive end, and we let them get some transition baskets. Uh, didn't close out on Bay one time, closed out too hard on Diallo. and so. Uh, got got away from you know paying attention to the KY you know knowing our personnel and for, as far as that so uh, we just said let's get back into it and we guarded for the rest of the quarter I think the last uh, seven or so minutes they only had ten points so we kept them to a twenty five point quarter got our focus back yeah are you seeing a big difference there just getting sustaining those kind of runs and being able to punch back yeah and especially when it's a just a lack of focus you know with the things we did well in the first two and a half quarters, uh, we let it slip a little bit there and, you know, didn't box out on the free throw. So little things like that and just want to, you know, reset our focus on the timeout. And they all were talking on the bench when I got there and knew what it was and got back to guarding. Does that make more of a chance to get kind of the same as you a little bit more Yeah, and I think a uh, huge part of that is Dennis, Josh, Grant, you know, back in the bench role with us being whole and, how well they've been playing. It gives us a chance to, you know, run them with, with, to run them with different units, uh, play them longer stretches and rest some of our guys and 
you know, like I said, the ending wasn't pretty tonight, but to keep Jason in 28 range and, you know, guys in the low 30s is, is a beneficial night. Uh, and like I said, Josh and Dennis and those guys are really playing well and you can run them longer stretches. So you, you get to see a chance to see some different lineups. <coughs> Excuse me. Are the starters maybe feeling a little pressure, especially right around this time of year? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know about fresh, but if we, if we can play them lower minutes, the better. Um, <laughs> 